All right, several of you have been ha asking how to use the inventory listing spreadsheets, actually upload things to Amazon, and I wanna show you how to do that today with this quick video. It's really just a simple two-step process, and the way I've tried to do it is that all the tabs in the spreadsheet kinda of follow the natural flow that you're going to use. So once you've got your items listed, and just a quick tip here, if you have less than 50 books listed, usually they go to the same fulfillment center. Um, that, that could help you uh, to avoid having split shipments. Other people have reported having success with going with really nice whole numbers like 100 or 150 or 200. I haven't had that same success, but if you do stick with less than 50, uh, fingers crossed they will go to the same fulfillment center. Um, what you do is you come over to the inventory loader form, and this is what we're gonna use. And again, this was fed off of the input tab that you've already put your data into. This is what we're gonna use to upload the data to Amazon. So you can see I've got the price, I've got the item names, I've got the SKUs here, and it's important. I've got the textbook tag in any of these that are textbooks. And I just use TXTBK because you can only have, I think, 40 or 45 characters in your SKU, so I was trying to limit that. Don't put the textbook tag anywhere past the beginning. Amazon does not, al not allow you to search the middle of a SKU. So if you put the, the same textbook tag halfway through or at the end, you will not be able to find it, especially if you have a lot of inventory. So be sure to put that at the front of the SKU and that'll save you a lot of headache down the road and you can find those to reprice them. So what we're gonna do, I have Excel for Mac, but it's gonna be very similar process for PC. Go over to file and click on save as. We're gonna come down and Amazon requires this to be in a .txt or a text format. I'm gonna use the basic one here of tab delimited text and I'm gonna name it something I can remember. So Marshall did the scouting here for us. So I'm gonna go Marshall, inventory loader, and then the date that he was ready to go. So 13016, I'm gonna save that on the desktop so I can find it. And again, make sure it's a text format. Go ahead and click save and it's gonna yell at you and say, hey, we can only save the active sheet as a text file. That's perfect, continue. Once you click off of it, you can see that it changes the name of the tab over here to the text file and you can see it, it popped up on the desktop, which is perfect. Once you're done with the inventory loader, we're gonna do the exact same thing to the shipping plan. Again, make sure you have your own address and your own information here. And again, it just has the exact same SKUs, only this time we have the quantity in as we build our shipping plan. Again, go over to save as. Macs are at least smart enough, and I think PC is as well, to stick with the same format. It's already got the same name. We're just gonna change this over. Instead of inventory lab, we're gonna write shipping plan. Go ahead and save that. Save active sheet. Yep, we're good to go. And as you can see, it's over here. That's it as far as you're concerned. The accounting data is pre-populated. We've got the accounting spreadsheet coming out in the near future, and this will be able to, to pop over, and I'll show you that when it's ready to go. But this data will allow you to track um, sales rank effectiveness or how many are selling. It'll build income statements for you, and you can track um, things by your source as well. So stay tuned, that's coming in the near future. Once you've got your text files created, you're gonna come over to Seller Central, go to Inventory, and then Add Products via Upload. Your screen may look a little bit different depending on which version of Seller Central you have, but basically you're gonna come here and say select type of file to upload. It's gonna be the Inventory Loader file. We're gonna come down here, and we're gonna go ahead and say Choose File. It's gonna be on the desktop, and we're gonna do the Inventory Loader form. Go ahead and open that and then say upload. And depending on how fast Amazon's working, this could take anywhere from 30 seconds to uh, sometimes half an hour, but we'll give that a little bit to see if it goes. Once this is uploaded, there's just one more step and you'll be ready to go. So what this step is doing is putting the inventory, it's letting Amazon know that this is the inventory. And if there's any issues with this, we can fix it here before we go to the shipping plan. So once you're done with that, it's gonna take a little bit. So we're actually gonna go over to manage FBA shipments. And you need to wait till the first step is done, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this. So we're gonna say upload shipping plan file. We're gonna choose the file. And again, it's gonna be on the desktop and it's gonna be the shipping plan file. We're gonna open that and then we're gonna say upload now. And then that will build your shipping plan. Um, I'll go ahead and do it. However, it's pretty much not going to work because we don't have the uh, actual inventory set up properly in Amazon yet. But once you were done with that, you'd hit manage FBA shipments and then you'd say, go ahead and continue a shipping plan. And then from there, you'd be able to print out your labels and continue on with the process. So that's it. Just a simple two-step uh, 
situation or scenario to get that all set up. If any questions, let me know. Thanks.